Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be installing this Rotofab Big Gulp Cold Air Intake. We did get ahead of ourselves and we cracked the box open. We went through the instructions and it looks like a pretty simple install. All right, we're going to start off by removing this clip right here and these two clamps to get this elbow out. And then we're going to remove the sensor. Now, we're going to remove all these Phillips screws and then we're going to see what else is holding the box to the car. All right, so I just noticed that there is no bolts holding this down. So I gotta do is pull up on it firmly and they'll come out. These pieces have these grommets. So all you gotta do is just pull on them. And you have to remove this from, I believe it, from there. And that's pretty much it and that the whole thing comes off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install the big hope protofab intake this is what comes in the kit some instructions this elbow all these clamps and stuff the heat shield for the air filter and this is the air filter that comes in the kit but our tuner recommended for us to run the dry filter so we ordered this separately all right, so first we're gonna start off by securing these two lines to this AC line. And they supply you with some zip ties. So use one of those zip ties to wrap around these three lines. And don't pull on them too tight, just enough to get it off of this pulley. This should be good. Okay, next we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter up here and this one. And they supplied us with some bolts that are gonna replace these two just for clearance. These are the two bolts that came off of the Camaro. And these are the ones that they supplied us with. So they're way shorter. And this will give us the clearance needed to run the big bolts. Next, we're gonna install this coupler. First, we have to put the clamp. Next, we're gonna have to remove this breather inlet from the stock uh, intake elbow. And I just pried this off and pull that out. And then there's two of these 90 degree elbows, a small one and a big one. So we're gonna use the smaller one. And then we're gonna use the supplied hose with clamp. And this goes like this. You slide this into the 90 degree elbow. And then you put this, the, the one that came off of your stock elbow in here. And you just clamp it together. Now we're gonna install this onto the elbow that comes with the kit. Now that the fitting is in, make sure it lines up with these little marks on the elbow. And we slid one of the hose clamps provided by the kit onto the elbow. And now we're gonna put the elbow on the rubber coupling that we had installed previously. Now we're gonna align both of these hose clamps so the same position. I don't need to be super tight. Next, we're gonna install this rubber coupling with the smallest clamp provided. And we're gonna install it on the throttle body. Now we're gonna install this last hose clamp onto the throttle body. And then we're gonna use a rag. Place it here. Now this is ready to go in. Now we got the intake elbow in. That was probably the most difficult part so far. So we're gonna tighten this clamp and clip this in. Now 
and we're gonna slide in the sensor. They also provided us with two new screws for it. And we're gonna install this trim. We're gonna start down here. And just work our way all the way around the, the shield. Next, we're gonna install the actual air filter. That's it for this install. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC films. And we'll catch you in the next one.